Hello everyone, this is Glowbug596, and today I am here with yet another chapter of a heartfelt blog. I just remembered that my second channel is a heartfelt productions. But um, whether you're watching this on a heartfelt productions channel or on the Phantom Writer channel, I am very pleased with this chapter, and this chapter does not really include much of the blog aspect of the story, but more so dealing with the actual day-to-day -day life of my character. So, I really enjoyed this. Um, enjoy making this, but it took forever because I really didn't have much time in between school and tutoring and studying and all that crap. So basically, I've been really busy, but I hope that I can remedy that, remedy that, and get to work on writing more. But um, yeah, I might only be able to do it on Saturdays because that's really the only real day I'm free. But anyway, this chapter is chapter three, and it is called "Support from Friends." I opened my eyes for the third time that night. Nightmares. Nothing but nightmares. At first my dream started out well. I was with a guy in my school who I thought was cute and we were doing typical teenage stuff. But then we started having arguments. It reminded me so much of my previous relationships to the point where I woke up on the borderline of crying. I sighed. Screw this, I said. I know I'm 16 years old and perfectly capable of going back to bed on my own. But I couldn't ignore the fear and anxiety that plagued my mind in the mix of the black night. I shook my head. I went out into the living room. My parents didn't have a bedroom. Only I did in the apartment. I woke up my mom. Mom? I tapped her knee. She jumped low and she looked at me. Nightmares. I explained. Her face turned from, t from a tired expression to one of sadness and pity. She got up and told me, I'll sleep on the couch. You can sleep on the bed with Dad. I nodded. Once again, I opened my eyes out of fear. I didn't understand where these dreams were coming from. This time, I had dreamed I had dreamed that I was that a bully I had in freshman year was chasing me down the halls of the school. I was too slow to run, as the cliche goes, and I knew he was hot on my tail. I closed my eyes in my dreamy state, and everything went white for a moment. I opened my eyes, lying frozen in the darkness of the living room. I jolted out of the frozen state and tapped my dad on the shoulder. Dad. Dad. I said. He awoke and I said once more nightmares. He too had a look of pity and I got up. I went to my dog, Bella, and picked her up on my mother's lap. I pulled her back to the bed and cuddled up with her. I could only hope that this time I would have good dreams. My alarm clock sounded on my phone. I brought, I brought it with me to wake me up when it was time to get up. I shut it off and went back to sleep. Goes to show how lazy I am. But when I went back to sleep, the dreams I had were actually very pleasing. I had a, friend, I had a dream where a friend of mine, Adriana, was at my house watching videos. She is blind, and when she and I first met in my freshman year of school, and she and I first met in my freshman year of middle of, of freshman year of high school, we both exchanged cute bosses from time to time, and we even share songs. She's genuinely one of my very true best friends. I woke up from the dream, and my mom told me that told me the time. It's 8 a.m. I yawned in response and began stretching. I sat up and tapped my dad on the shoulder. Dad, it's 8 a.m. All right, I'm getting up, he said. But I knew it would take a couple more minutes before he actually wakes himself up. My dad always tries to get as much sleep as humanly possible, even when we need, really need to get up. I went into my room and, be and began getting ready for school. I put on my typical clothes, shirt, pants, and began putting on my typical makeup. I tend to keep it natural looking most days. There are some girls in my school who wore rosy or lipstick, and while it is cute, it is something the color of their, lip of their lipstick and their revealing clothes are not okay to wear to school. Anyway, I put on my lip gloss and went to the living room to, go to grab my book bag. I got all my stuff and picked up my tennis shoes. I then headed out to the car and we hit the road. When I got to school, I put in my earbuds and headed inside. I went up to the library and smiled, seeing it was mostly empty. Please, I went over to a study room again doing some last minute homework. Once the bell rang, I, went I put everything up and went to English. But my mind wandered from different fandoms as it was Souls, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Sherlock, the Dragon Ball Z. All these different fandoms all give me joy. Even though the characters I've seen are fake, I still feel nothing but love for them. I was interrupted by my train of thought when a friend came up to me. Hey, Alexis. What's up? Nothing much. Can I space out for a bit there? You good? She said with a smile. Yeah, I was just thinking is all. That and I'm so tired. Same. How long did you sleep last night? Around six or seven hours. What about you? Like, three or four? What the hell, Gloria? I giggled. I kept having nightmares. I woke up three or more times last night. Oh, I'm sorry. She said, hugging me from the side. 
I smiled. Alexis is a girl I met back in freshman year as well, and she's always there for me. I sometimes go to her when I have a panic attack, and she does nothing but comforts me. We both went to our classes and agreed to meet up at some point in the day. As classes went on, I noticed something with my earbuds. They kept pausing the music and summoning Siri. Confused, I texted my dad. Dad, my headphones are acting up. What do you mean? I mean, the song keeps pausing, skipping, and Siri keeps ac- keeps getting activated. Really? Did you update your phone? Yes. Well, I guess I'll have to get you more headphones. Just try and be careful with those. Okay, okay. Thanks, Poppy. I decided to put my phone away and just out for one song for the day. As it went on and progressed, I, I, as it went on and progressed, I went throughout the day a bit sour because my headphones were so buggy. I don't think I was ever so relieved to be home in my life, especially over music. When I walked in the door, my parents were, my mom and dad were already there with my father holding a Walmart bag behind his back. Let me guess. She guys went out and got me some new headphones, a smart clear in my voice and on my face. Well, they both said. My dad handed me a bag in the bag and I opened it. Inside were a pair of purple headphones, once they went over your ears, and they were Bluetooth. The battery lasted 14 hours, had a charger, and even had a regular headphone cord so you could still listen to it. I felt a huge smile come on, come along, and I hugged both of my parents. I went into my room without waiting for a response, and I ripped open the headphones from the, out of the packaging. I connected them and tossed the old headphones into the trash. Who needs this pair of trash? Well, certainly not me. I then got, t- got at my music and began listening to Candy Sir from the Heather's musical. Sadly, no thunder or rain outside, but the weather looked absolutely gorgeous. It had a beautiful sh- shade of gray to it, and I felt so happy while singing a wonderful song. When I awoke the next morning, I woke to, f- to my phone to start playing YouTube. Luckily, the headphones weren't connected anymore. Guess I, left some- guess I must have left Markiplier on. I can't go and saw it was plugged into my charger, so no damage was done. I looked at the clock and saw it was 6.45 a.m. I still had plenty of time to kill before I had to leave. So I put on some of my put on my makeup, got changed, and went out to find my parents to sleep. So I decided to go online and check some things out. I hopped on the couch and got my phone out. I turned my volume down to zero so my parents couldn't hear anything. And I got on Instagram and was reading people's posts. I had, I had gotten quite a bit of following from people on there, but likely only because they were friends with my friends. I love my friends though. Granted, I had some that were never tru- that never truly cared about me, but that didn't mean that didn't mean that people didn't like me. I have felt I have I have felt nothing but love from the true friends I have. Whether we have a friendship for more than for five more years or five more hours, I will savor it and enjoy the lessons we teach each other. When my dad finally woke up. He drove me to school and I went throughout my day. When I finally got out of school, I raced to catch the bus home. When I got home, I went straight to the balcony for some alone time. My mom was already was getting ready for to go on her walk, and she let go and she let and she let me go out on the balcony. My dad was over at my brother's place up and study for some IT bull crap, so but neither of them would be home for at least another two hours. After a, a few moments of enjoying the scenery and silence, a noise from above broke me out of my trance. I looked up and saw Bruce adjusting a chair. I felt my throat close up as I thought of something clever to say. Hey, Hulk. He looked down. He looked around at the sound before looking down. He chuckled. Very funny. What's up, Natasha? No way am I. No am I. No way am I. No way am I that hot. Do you always put yourself down like that? I think you're adorable. Well, I, 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 I know what I'm talking about. I blushed and smiled. Thanks, I guess. Hey, might I have your number? That depends. On what? Well, they're just gonna keep calling me adorable again. You can count on it. He winked. I wrote down my number, and he came down to my apartment to pick it up. I then rushed him out the door so he couldn't get caught, me and my parents. We all know that when you bring a friend over, that's cute. You get shot with 20 plus questions. And I finally decided to update my blog to wrap up the day. Something weird is going on. I think I have a crush on two guys. I'm honestly freaking out. There's also something else that makes up the bowl that I'm questioning. I'm not sure if I should discuss it here, though, because it is super personal. But I hope you all are enjoying the blog. I'll talk more about the new guy tomorrow. Hope I have a, have a good day slash evening slash night. With lots of love, Anon. I had this, quite a bit of fun making this, as I always say. But I really am kind of proud of this one because I feel like that um, it dealt more into the daily life of my character, who is me. And I also kind of got to delve more into my normal life. And I know that may be a little boring in this chapter, but... 
I'm at least hoping that the ending saved the boringness or the dullness a little bit. In chapter 4, I hope to get make things a little bit more interesting and maybe perhaps bring in some conflict. I'm not sure. But I do have one idea potentially for the next chapter. And I hope that you all are as excited for the next chapter as I am. Anyway guys, this is, I mean, this is a Heartfelt Productions, a.k.a. Fenwriter, and I'll be seeing you all very soon. Bye-bye.